Aren't I'm thirsty? Oh, wait a second. I caught myself again. I'm sorry, folks. I was just really thirsty. Uh, I'll let that. My delicious 7-7. Seven, seven. Sogar, 7-7s. Seven, seven. That's the third one I had in 20 minutes, too. Darn. Oh, wait a second. I'm not here to talk about booze. I'm here wearing a Gargano y Ciampa hashtag DIY shirt because today was NXT. NXT. I'm going to get centered a little bit better. And I am the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. And I'm here to talk a little bit about NXT. In fact, in just one moment, so I'm just going to let this run very quickly. I have to go refresh. Wow. Don't worry, I'll cut eventually. Ah, the magic of video editing. Back with my delicious drink. Mainly because... Well, I'll get into that. But first of all... Ooh, I have to do some editing for this thing. That's okay. Let's talk about some NXT. And first off, I have some shout-outs to give. Slicks! You are definitely, with your new webpage, telling Nikki Cross to take it off? Christopher Zumeta, you are absolutely correct, sir. Um, I do not have the best, I won't even call it good, video recording software. There is sometimes a lag. The reason being is that I go from one software to another. And unless I process the first video, there's a lag when it goes to the second video. This is the Hobo Studio, sir. Who do you think I am, Brian Zane? I can't do stuff like that. My whole setup to do this show, I think, cost me $30. I've had this microphone forever, the computer I needed. I'm just thirsty. That's better. I'll have to refill that. Eventually, anyway. And so, sir, this. Boom, bo boom box briefcase, sir, goes out to you. And that's only because... I haven't made the other two yet. And it's just a matter of sound. It's a matter of money, time, and effort. Again, this week was my first week of work at school. I'm not putting that much effort into it. Not yet. Again, when I get paid, that's a whole different issue. Until I do get my monetization. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you guys have to deal with it. And my third person... Mojo Rally? You hush this webpage? Sir, thank you very much. This six count, sir, goes out to you.
And again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, again, if you ever want to own video shout out, you can um, leave a comment, watch a video, leave a comment, or publicly subscribe, or send me an email, and you can ask such ridiculous questions. What is this amazing drink that I'm having tonight? Oh boy, is that good. I'm going to have to reload really soon. And that's not going to wait 14 minutes. Again, we shall witness the magic of video editing. Prepare for the magic of editing. Oh wow, that actually hit the spot right there. That's good. That'll keep me for a while at least. I just have to make part two. But again, I thank everyone for watching. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Whoa. Matt sent me two attachments. That's what I heard beeping. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a second. Oh. <coughs> Summer Slam. Summer Slam in Boston next year. Uh, oh, wow, that was horrific. Uh, Ooh, that was pickle based and 7 and 7 based. Nothing beats a nice, full, refreshing 7 and 7. Though. So good. It's ambrosia. It's, it's, Liquor from the gods. Yeah, I can go 12 minutes without another one, so we'll see. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, again, you, you, I just told you how to get your own little video dedication. And eventually I have to dedicate a new video to someone else. Wow, I have to make two videos still. Actually, and a couple other things. Because I'll tell you what, NXT, I was about this close to not going to it this year. Mainly because the last show I saw was such a snooze fest, I almost swore off NXT live shows. I wanted to take a friend there. I wanted her to experience NXT. And I went there, like, fingers crossed multiple times, like, super, oh, wow, I can still do that. Like, super multiple cross fingers. I can't do that with this hand, because I need this hand. But I this many fingers crossed. That's impressive. Wow. That this was going to be a good show. If it was the last show I saw... She would not have liked it, and NXT would have lost one fan. It would have kept me, because granted it's my somewhat jobby. Ooh, a job and hobby. I like that word. That's a very good word. I like that word. That's a very good word. Ooh, I'm just belching now. Maybe I just had a burp a lot. No, I was just thirsty. 
again, I'll get into that very shortly. Um, so it starts off, they, they um, do hype the crowd up. They have the introductions. They have autographs. They see her. So this time around, I will post this on the door of wrestling back there. See here. If Boog, Eric Boog, they shortened it from Boogenhoff. That's okay. Jesse, who changed herself, is there. And Boa. Boa, I think I remember first seeing him as Boa, as Bo. Oh, jeez. Two years ago, next. So this will definitely go up on the wall of wrestling. So that was pretty cool. And it was three people. Jesse's cute, but not as cute. Boog is awesome. I'm there air guitaring, as you can tell by the thumbnail. And I have to load up a bunch of pictures eventually one day. I have to delete some stuff on my phone. That I need. Cheers, folks. It's just the water I need. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Eight more minutes. I'm good to go then. So there were a couple people announced. Um, I guess ACH, Tyrone something, was going to be there. Um, the Kiwi Bustle. Bravis Bonks was there. My daddy is a dustman. He wears his dustman pants. I forget the rest of it. And Taya Conti was also scheduled to be there. First thing I'm like, I'm like, really? Please, no. I'm like, oh, I hope this is better. And I was shocked. This was a really fun NXT. Security was okay. I think they just told the kids to sit down. Makes sense for their safety. They let me, for the most part, take as much videos as I wanted. Granted, I wasn't there filming the whole thing. I got enough for you, the YouTube viewership, to see, though. That's all I need. Um, let's start off the show. Get some hype going on. That's pretty cool. They have a new intern. Interns are good. And then the first match of the evening is coming for one fall. One fall. I had explained to my date what... She's like, one fall? What, that's that. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they tell you how the match is supposed to end. By one fall, which means either pinfall, submission, or count up. Because sometimes they do have pure submission matches. Sometimes it's two out of three falls. Last man standing. Last man... Oh! Matt, oh. Probably trying to go to TakeOver. Cool. No way, still on No way. Was. No way, Jose. Was on TV last week. Not SummerSlam. Yeah, I understand that. No, he was, it was on TV last week. Though. I don't know about... I, I haven't seen Lars Sullivan. Oh! Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. See, oh, whoa. 
Whoa! Bad boys. Bad boys. Whatcha? No, not watch. Whatcha going to do? Not holy. Going to do when they come for you. Come. No, not what you're thinking. For you. Bad boys, bad boys. Classic cop scene. Uh oh, more. More text message. Hooray. Ooh. I had such amazing time. Hope I did not ruin the show with my wrestling lingo talk talk oh by the way you are Rounding points. Um, so, let's see here. So, oh, that's good. It's time for me to have a sip soon and reload, which is good because I'm at my 20 minute mark. For some reason, this doesn't like. So, it starts off the first match of the evening. It starts for one fall. One fall. Allegaro. Allegaro. Versus Kushida. Amazing opening match. Yeah, yeah, it's one pinfall. Like sometimes they might have like a like a two out of three falls. Sometimes they one fall. Sometimes like submission match. I quit. Last man standing.
I'll tell you what, it started off really classic mat wrestling. No flippy stuff yet early in the match, but I'll tell you what, Kushida was really going after that arm. Kushida is an amazing storyteller in the fact that he, he will work over one body part, one body part only. That's going to be the arm. His whole focus was on that, and that was awesome. Um, eventually, El Liguero, just like he did in WCPW. Yes, I've seen you there, sir. El Liguero. King Kushida. Or El Kushida. Time Splitter Liguero. That doesn't roll off the tongue as good. But again, that was amazing chain wrestling by Kushida. Kushida's so good. So smooth in the ring. Just utterly amazing. This, folks, to start off the show was amazing. Uh, I was so shocked they did this. Elegaro, I popped big for him. I was, like, freaking ecstatic. No kidding, according to my cousin Jack. Oh, wow. I forgot about Jack. How is Jack? How is Jack? Some I forgot about. Forgot. I do remember Jack. He was pretty cool. Um, but again, this match was amazing, though. This, folks, is the way every NXT should start off. The crowd was popping. The crowd was excited. This is a cheese. And I'm going to be drinking seven sevens all night long. Oh, and then, uh, then ACH. Um, I forget what his name is now. I just know him as ACH. That's all I care about. Um, challenges Kushida. He was like, yeah, whatever. Dude, I've been, I've been in the G1 Climax. I've been in Wrestle Kingdom. You've been in Bingo Hall. In some loser arena for a Ring of Honor. Just left the ring. Dexter Lewis showed up. He became face. Creepy face, too.
So that was pretty cool. Then the next match was Aaliyah and Alexis Bourne taking on Jesse and Piper Niven. For some reason, a lot of UK people here in town. That's good to see. I think I actually saw Lee at the gym. I don't know. What was it? Oh, I knew all I saw. Maybe. I'll have to check the video on that. That would have been cool. I'll have to talk to people tomorrow. I'll get to that later, though. So it was Aaliyah and uh, Alexis Bourne versus Jessica versus Jesse. I forget what her last name is. And Piper Nevin.
I never heard Aaliyah really speak. <clears throat> now I know why. If you think my belching is bad during this entire video, Aaliyah has such a squeaky voice. Now I know why she's not on the main roster. She really needs to go to that promo 101 class. Or voice something class. Because I'm like, whoa. She's a squeaky mouse. Even squeaker than my squeaky chair. Which I guess needs a WD-40. Or some more 7 on 7s. Oh, we'll get our seven and seven so this was a good match though um a little bit boshy again <laughs> um they they actually took both of them Malia and Alexis Bourne or Jessica Bourne whatever she is now I forget they've changed her name so often softened up Piper Niven for a little bit and eventually uh, Jessica gets in for for a bit. She, I don't know if she's out of practice or she hasn't worked with them for a while. It, it was a little bit sloppy. A couple things seemed botchy a little bit. Okay. Oh, I thought so. I thought so. He was married. And had kids. Years ago. Hey, cheese pot. So where's my emoji face? I know it's there somewhere. I'm like, I thought so. There we go. I'm sorry, folks. I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm like, you want to see the cat? Where's cheese pot? Cheese pot, come on. You want to be on YouTube? No, you just want scratches and the stuff of the carpet? Yeah, I know it's the carpet. It's amazing what happens when I clean up the office. You can see the carpet. But overall, this was a fun match. I mean, the tag team work was pretty good. Again, you know who is heel, who is face. It was, was kind of fun. Piper never hit the fun splash. That's always fun. This was a good ham sandwich of a match. I mean, she just made it, um, Jesse just made a little bocce. It wasn't that bad, though. And then this next match, I apologize in advance. I didn't get any video footage of the match itself. I think this was... Yeah. Oh, I know this match. I think I got a little video footage of it. It was... Brenton... Chris, Chris yeah. versus Eric Boogs, Boog and Hoffman.
I know the carpet's clean. You don't have to roll all over. I don't know. She's just being fuzzy back there. But the, my only problem with this match is that Eric Boogs had, had a 10-minute entrance. And the entrance actually was longer than the match. Because he even got the ref involved, so that was pretty cool. Um, it was a good, I'll tell you what, it was good storytelling, a little long, but good, I mean, you, don't, you definitely know who the, the heel face dynamic is in this, and that's, that's always important, once, uh, there she goes, but once you understand who to cheer for, who, who, who to boo, everything kind of falls in place, and the dynamic the goes there, uh, yeah, it was just fun though, the, the histrionics were great. The crowd was up for it. The match, I think, the rest, the actual wrestling only lasted like five minutes. I don't even think I have a picture of the match. Because they were just like trading sunset flips. Which was weird. It was, the crowd was excited for it. They got for it. Therefore, this gets a ham sandwich. I'll tell you what, the other thing about this, ma this, this match is that it was really progressing pretty, pretty quick. Uh, let's see, then the, ma the fourth match, I know I didn't get any of this because this was over a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Matt. Wow. She was, whoa. Da, 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 da. Sounds like my. Sorry, fish. That is the important. Bang. There we go. Smiley face. I like emojis. I need more emojis. I like emojis. I need more emojis. Uh, so this was again... Yeah, this... Oh no, yeah, this match was really quick. This was uh, Bella versus Bronson Reed.
It was speed versus size. It was a face versus face match. It was pretty good. Um, crowd really liked Boa. They were chanting for him. Boa, Boa. Hey, number one rule in picking a name. It should be easy to chant. So it does that. Uh, and there was a ha ha splash. Yes, yes, yes. I love it when big guys go up top and deliver splashes. It was a fast match, but it was fun. The crowd was up for it. I was enjoying it. This, the um, the woman I was with was amazed by it. You could tell that she's never been to a wrestling match or in a long time because the whole there was no need to suspend this belief. She was like, "Ooh, ooh, ooh!" During some parts, she's like, "Ah," uh, and cringe. I, on the other hand, you have to do something truly amazing or truly botchy for me to cringe. But overall, I think this match, this this right here, the cheeseburger. Then the next match. I understand why this wasn't the main event. This match was the match of the night. This match was amazing. It was a, a triple threat tag team match. It was Imperium, made up of Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner, versus Xander Scott and Theo something. And I forget his last name. And the Coffee Brothers of Gallus.
this match was amazing. This was a Gallus versus Imperium preview for those of you that you watch NXT. They're just trying to cut their teeth. Um, the thing about this match, there were crisp tags all over the place. It's your view. Whoa. That's cool. Jack looks the same. Jack looks the same. Jack looks the same. He has not aged. I mean, this was just amazing. Though. I mean, classic European style, especially from the Imperium, um, from Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner. I mean, match point for point with Imperium, the Coffee Brothers. And then you have the energy brought in by, by Xander Scott and um, what's his face? I'm sorry. I'm just terrible with they They say it so quickly. I want to get so many videos. Um, again, that, that real classic British strong style is just so amazing, especially when you're not used to it. It's just, I don't know, weird breath of fresh air. When it comes to the WWE, it's really cool, and I'm peeling off a scab because it's itching the heck out of me. Yeah, because it only has like a week left before it, before it truly heals itself. Right now it's going to pour freaking blood. Which all scabs do. I do not want to get blood on the carpet yet. Cat won't, cat won't probably freak out. So I do apologize for that. It was just... It's the one thing I think the ends always itch like anything. And it just needs to like bleed itself out because it's like like significantly reduced in size. So all my biology students, you'll be learning about that eventually. Or I'll be forcing it down your throat eventually. Well, so but this match itself, I mean, this was awesome. Like, the coffees tagged themselves in blindly to others. It's so good. I mean, after the first half of the match was so action packed, it was just non stop. Eventually, by some nefarious means, the, the coffee boys, Gallus, gets the pin. I'll say what, I haven't given a house show this rating in a long time. But this, folks, is a filet mignon match. And I think with that, we took a little break. Um, my only qualm 
with this match is that the venue ran out of both Coca-Cola and water. This is Florida in the summertime. You cannot run out of water anywhere within the state of Florida during summertime. I don't care if you didn't properly prepare for it. I don't care the fact that it's 20 degrees cooler inside than it was outside. I was actually thirsty. My date was kind of sweating a little bit. You know, because we did have to wait outside for a little bit. I don't mind the way I knew it was going to be a little bit of a late. I, I, wait of, I did have to get my tickets because it's so much cheaper to buy them in person than it is for 15 freaking dollars for um, Ticketmaster. You buy them 11 bucks at the door. So we just had to wait outside. She didn't mind that too much. She's like, it's hot. Like, I'm sorry. It's like, no, but that's okay. I think we, when, when, once we got in, we were standing around. She's like, I don't know any of these people. I'm just going to find our seats. I'm like, okay, I'll get some autographs. They ran out of water and Coca-Cola. Boom. Thankfully, I have my seven and my ice is all gone. Can't have a drink with ice. I have to finish this quickly then. Wow, there's a little ice. So, like many things. But then after the break, um, I do apologize. I had to get back to my seat kind of quickly. It's Keith Lee versus Damian Priest. in his glory. Oh, bask in his glory. Oh, wow. That tells you how freaking there say it was. I'm just being able to produce spit again. Not necessarily good. And that just had a bleed for a while. That's good. That's very good. Get all that cut out of that. Wow, that thing's closing up quickly. That was a pretty good scab I gave myself. My hoboing day. I had a hobo one night. The bum fights are rough sometimes. But this was a pretty good match. Um, Non-stop chanting by the crowd, which is amazing. Keith Lee. Lee, Keith Lee, Keith Lee. Oh, bask in his glory. That was pretty cool. Um, the, I didn't realize how big Keith Lee was. And for some reason, after he shaved off his mustache, he seemed to age like 20 years, too. Uh, it was a really hard-hitting, brawling-type match from, from both of these two.
A big, powerful suplex. Uh, the choke slam couldn't hold him for long, though. This was good, though. The choke slam only got a two count, and they were trading blows. Um, uh, Keith Lee looks again. He just looks older without the mustache. He actually uh, did take, he did eat the pin from from Damian Priest. Punishment Martin. It was a good match. Again, it was a good cheeseburger match. Then we had Cameron Grimes versus Travis Banks. The Kiwi buzzsaw from down under. I do like Travis Banks. I think I saw him when he was in WCPW for a little bit. Um, it was a lot of collegiate wrestling. It was some good stuff. A lot of mat wrestling. The one thing about this match is that there seemed to be a lot of rest holds. There was some good rope work, though. It was, it was a really slow building match. bit slower than I would have necessarily liked. I think they realized that the first half of the show went by really freaking quick. And they had some really short matches, so they kind of had to figure out a way how to grind things out a little bit. So I think that's, that's where this came in. Um, there were the yes kicks. Really just a lot of yes holds. Cameron Grimes did go over with his like off the ropes double chest stomp thing. It was good, though. It told a good story. I mean, he was always cheating. He's always a heel. He always cheats. Stop grabbing the face. So, again, you definitely know the heel face dynamic. That was pretty good. Just a lot of rest holds. They just seem to be milking the clock a little bit. That's a ham sandwich. Then it was Lacey Lane. Ooh, the crud Poffer versus Tyke 
Tyler Conti from Brazil. So much air in this match. I don't know how they do it. I'll tell you what. Ooh la. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ooh la la. And there was some torn pantyhose. For some reason they always have torn pantyhoses. No. Um, Lathane did hit a flat line on Ty Conti, which looked absolutely amazing. Again, the rope moves by Lacey Lane's awesome. Again, Lace, uh, Tyler Conti does a classic heel hair pull. Um, Lacey Lane rolls up Tyler Conti through the ring. Really good, really good 
really good pace. Um, there was even the chair slash rough spot. The ref said, ah, you can't use that chair. That's always fun to get the ref got involved. Uh, Lacey Lane went over. This was a solid cheeseburger match. And then in the main event of the evening. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oni Lorcan, which I was shocked at, and Danny Birch. Versus the Forgotten Sons. Classic heel versus face. Oh, wow. The one-two chants were amazing. Again, Oni Lorcan and Danny Burks are such classic wrestling. It was good. The <laughs> The heel work by Blake and Cutter and Jackson Riker. Oh, wow. That was also amazing. I mean, Black and Blake and Cutter are such natural heels. I even wanted to yell at them after they were yelling at the poor kids who said, You suck. Um, Blake, I think, threatened to ground them, he threatened to call their principal. And he told their parents that they're to control their kids. Whoa, that's like the trifecta of, of yelling at kids. Like the kids just, when Jackson Riker said, like, Shut up! Is it? Yes, sir. I halfway wanted to stand up and say, Hey, Blake, Murphy's more famous than you are. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I should have. I didn't want to embarrass the woman I was with them. Next time, though, I'll warn you. I'll warn you. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. There's going to be a little electricity in the air. Yeah, maybe I had a little too much coffee. Everyone knows the cream always rises to the top. Yeah. <coughs> I'll shout out to the top of my lungs. Hey, Blake. Murphy's better than you are. <laughs> oh. I should have. Darn it, the coulda, woulda, shoulda. Next time. Next time I will do that. I'll be famous. Hobo Tom will be famous. Uh, but I, for the most part, really good action from the start of the match through on. I mean, great, he, great heel face dynamics. Jackson, the referee got, he started to do the arm twirl. And Jackson's like, no, no. You're out of here! They toss him out, and then eventually, um, the crowd don't want to home happy. Only Lorcan and Danny Birch won. One, two. One, two. And I'll tell you what. I want to upgrade this match. This was a surf and surf quality match.
Well, keep it as a surf and surf match. Uh, parts of it were botchy. Um, they kind of slipped up on a few things, really minor stuff. I mean, it wasn't too bad. Uh, again, the slow pace, a lot of rest holds, I think. But that was NXT. I mean, minus the lack of water in Coca-Cola. I'll tell you what, this was a cheeseburger NXT. And next time, folks, I'll have to tell you that Hobo Tom will be at one of these live events. I did forget that. Other than that, please enjoy all the videos I've posted. Like, share, comment. And